morning, everybody. Uh, this today is going to be just a little bit different. Um, I have a pile of boxes over here, and I'll probably split this up into some separate videos. But uh, what I'm doing, uh, I have some paintwork to do on the Camaro, on the IROC, uh, particularly the nose. And I've already bought the paint. I uh, just uh, been other projects in the way. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm preparing to paint it myself, and I've painted cars before, but it's been quite a few years. So I'm kind of upgrading my equipment before I start on, on working on this. I mean, it, it's only the nose, but uh, many years ago I painted quite a few, and the technology of the day was a siphon feed gun. And today everything is HVLP or LVLP or um, high efficient transfer. So anyway, I've decided it's time to upgrade my equipment. And I've started with, I've been doing a lot of shopping, and I bought a DeVilbus gun. Um, this is a 905-015 kit, and uh, it's a general purpose gun that is supposed to be high efficiency transfer and it should be good for clear coat and it should be good for base coat and since I'm doing single stage it actually you know single stage would qualify similar to base coat um, it seemed to be a pretty high grade gun so I'm going to open that one up and in addition I bought some accessories uh, the paint systems since the last time I painted have changed a lot um, I used a little bit of catalyzed enamel back years ago, but now you know the standard enamels and lacquers have pretty much gone away, and everything seems to be two part with hardener, and so there are safety considerations around two part with hardener. So um, in the other boxes, I have um, one. I have a um, air supplied uh, respirator system with a hood, so that I can. Uh, safely spray in a confined space. Uh, the second one is, um, again around safety, is I wanted to be able to move fumes. I'm going to probably set up a, 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 I'll call it a simple spray booth arrangement, just sheet off, sheet off some area of plastic in the garage to work. And uh, I want to be able to move some air through there. And since the fumes are hazardous and sometimes explosive, I bought an explosive um, uh, explosion proof blower on a duct so I can pull air through. So I'm going to go through these one at a time and show you what I got. Uh, so first of all, my new spray gun, it's the DeVilbus um, GPG and this particular kit uh, comes with multiple uh, multiple nozzle sizes. So Let's see if I can get, we're going to unbox this dude and open her up. And it's um, still sealed, so let's open the seal. manual. There's the gun itself. And with the comes this one I bought it has a what they call a 7E7 air cap on it that is supposed to be used at 22 psi. Uh, my my air compressor the challenge for me was my air compressor is a three horsepower 220 and it uh, provides a little over 11, I think it's 11 and a half CFM at 40. And this gun I, is in the middle tens. I want to say I think it's 10 and a half uh, CFM. So it's underneath what my 3 horsepower will generate. Many of the HVLP guns are like 13, 14, 15 CFM. 
and uh, I didn't want to have to go buy a new compressor. But if I was going to invest in a new gun, that ought to be a good one. So, uh, GPG with that air cap cover. Nice looking aluminum um, and all the spare parts in, inside the aluminum um, container here. Aluminum cup, which then will attach to the top of the gun. And then these are all nicely um, sealed and certified, and so this is a these are some of the parts for the addition. So this kit also comes with a gauge. It's an analog gauge. It should attach to the inlet of the gun, and make sure that you have the right air pressure as you uh, as you're setting up got some other pieces here that looks like a filter screen there's an additional bag here with the brush some more seals some tools looks like a pretty thorough kit back to air consumption uh, 77 uh, runs 10.8 CFM to be precise. So one of the things with this kit was that it comes with the 77 and it comes with three nozzle sizes. And when I was pricing them out, um, they were nicely providing multiple nozzles. I could have bought it with two nozzles or three nozzles for the same price. So I went ahead. Um, Based on the box and based on the specs, the 77, this comes with a 1.2, it looks like the 1.2 is installed, and here's a 1.3, and here's a 1.4. So with the three nozzles, it'll give a pretty good uh, spread depending on uh, what you want to spray. And that yeah, certainly looks like a nice gun. So I'm not ready to quite um, try it out and use it yet, but it, it feels nice in the hand, and um, and everything looks pretty good. So I will I will just need to get acquainted with this a little bit better. Um, let me set this aside and open up my next box with things for the painting uh, project, and that next one. I realized that once I bought a new spray gun, this different style spray gun, uh, I needed to get a stand for it because uh, my old siphon feed, you could just set it down on the can and life was good. But this one doesn't do that, so I stopped down at my local Harbor Freight and they happen to have it on sale for about 10 bucks. See what it looks like here. <clears throat> All right. So there's the stand and the extension for the top, and it looks like I have um, it has holes in the side and it has holes in the bottom. So I can mount it to my workbench or perhaps even just a board if I want to keep it portable. And well, I don't have the cup in it yet. That's no reason I can't.
looks just fine. And if I put it together right, I mean there will be a... Um, I'll have the uh, gauge on the bottom and a quick connect. But if I set this up so that it goes over the edge of my workbench, that looks good. I'll just drop right in there. And uh, I saw some that were a lot more expensive, but this Harbor Freight one looked like it would do the job. And as I say, a good price. And then you can put your paint strainer up on top and, uh, and fill the bottle. That looks like a good rig. And I know that um, this is a finished coat and clear coat gun. I don't have a gun for primer yet. Um, the, uh, the nozzles for this gun, for primer, you know, to do a 1.8 or a 2 or a 2.2 for, for a heavier body primer, is uh, uh, too much air. I could use this gun, change the air cap, but all of them were about mm, 12, 13, 14 uh, CFM. So I'm not sure what I'll do. Uh, the paint experts told me for the nose of my car, because of the uh, factory paint and the original material on the Camaro, that I should not prime it. And they gave me a, uh, uh, their recommendation for their paint, single stage, catalyzed, was to uh, use 320 and 400 grit and sand it thoroughly and clean it thoroughly and then just go right over the color with the finish coat again. Uh, they felt that uh, going all the way down through to the substrate would cause uh, more issues with uh, uh, more issues with adhesion. And so, for now I don't need a primer gun, but uh, when the time comes I'll have to do some shopping and find a, an appropriate one. But this guy looks really nice. So with that and the stand, I'm going to set those aside and open up my next pack.